Hey, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to create an audio ad for Spotify that meets their exact specifications. So you can now create an audio ad that can go out to Spotify's 92 million strong audience. Pretty exciting, isn't it? We'll get to the audio file specs in just a moment, but first of all, here are four tips from Spotify for those creating their own audio ad. First of all, only use music if necessary. So you don't have to use music. A voiceover is just fine. And don't use more voices than necessary. You don't need loads. Loads. Loads of voices. Just one can do the job. Avoid annoying effects like alarms and air horns. It could turn listeners off the message. And make sure to balance your mixing so the voice, music and other sound effects are all balanced and the correct volume throughout. Let me show you how to get into the last point now here in Adobe Audition. This is a really, really simple audio ad we created from Nescafe. Let's play it. Nescafe, the coffee we love. Very, very simple message, and that goes on for 15 seconds. Now, Spotify, first of all, state that you can have a 15-second or 30-second ad inside Adobe Audition. You can do this, obviously, in other editors, but Audition will allow you to micro-zoom in and make sure you are exactly 15 seconds in. And what you can do is you can actually select and trim the rest of it. Uh, just make sure the start point, uh, it's behind my head, uh, but there's a selection view. Let me actually undock this panel so I can show you the selection view, uh, which is here. Let's make it really big. Oh, it doesn't increase the number size. Anyway, this should be exactly 15, and then the end wants to be up until the very end point of the audio. So you can then delete any extra audio there. So it's exactly 15 seconds now, and that is good for Spotify. Let's move that out of the way, zoom out, and I'm just going to do a little fade out there. This will just fade your ad nicely at the end. You can do a little fade in as well if you like. Now, the important thing is to meet the specs that they require for the upload to Spotify Ad Studio. Uh, in order to do this, well, first of all, you can check out they have an Ad Studio guideline sheet uh, that tells you the audio file, as I just mentioned, should be 15 or 30 seconds. The file type should be WAV, MP3, or OGG. I would recommend WAV, that's the highest quality and no more than one megabyte in size. Plus, it must be 16-bit, 44.1 kilohertz. Uh, if you're MP3, at least 192 kilobits per second. But the RMS, loudness, and true peak is what we want to focus on here. So let's get those settings all correct. Uh, first of all, to get your loudness correct, you'll want to go to Window and make sure you've got Match Loudness open. Then you want to drag this down into Match Loudness. It'll do a little analysis on it. And to get it to the correct loudness for Spotify, you want to match to Total RMS, and the target loudness should be minus 14 dB. That's what Spotify has asked for. Run that. Boom, now you've got an ad that sounds the correct loudness for Spotify. Easy as that. Nescafe, the coffee we love. And it's just kind of boosted the ad up using a little bit of limiting as well to make that ad really pop out. Now, the other thing you'll want to do to make sure you're on target, the peak should be normalized to minus 0.2 dBFS. So make sure you do that. Simple way to do it in Audition, go into Effects, Amplitude and Compression, Normalize, and you want to set the dB, not percentage, dB, to minus 0.2 dB. Apply it, you'll see just a slight reduction there in volume. That is now a perfect ad for Spotify, but it's not over yet. First of all, you want to save this. So save as, and we'll save it as Nescafe ad for Spotify. And then you want to make sure it's a wave. You can also use, uh, as has mentioned, MP3 or OGG, which you can also save out as in Audition. Now, this is important. Sample type all wrong. 48,000 hertz stereo 32-bit. No, uh, we want 44,100. Uh, we do want it to be a stereo ad. The bit depth has to be 16-bit. Often, if you're working in Audition, you'll find bit depth is 32 so change that to 16 and click OK. That's all looking good now uh, although we do have a problem in that the estimated file size is 2.53 megabytes and they've suggested a maximum of one megabyte so you might want to swap around uh, perhaps to the open source OGG. Yeah that's under a megabyte perfect or we can go for mp3 uh, that's even less that's 234.39 kilobytes uh, but again make sure you set the bit rate if you're working in MP3, to 192 kilobits per second. 
and you'll see that slightly increases the file size. So really optimum for this ad to upload to Spotify would be to save as .ogg and everything is looking good there. Sample type is correct, file size is correct. If you want, untick this, strip out any markers and metadata. You don't need them for uploading to Spotify and click OK. Boom! That is your ad created. Uh, now we'll go over to Photoshop and create an image to go with it. That should be 640 by 640 pixels, JPEG or PNG, less than 200 kilobytes. Uh, but as audio is my speciality, I'll let someone else talk about making a really good image for your Spotify audio ad. Enjoy creating and let me know in the comments down below how you will be creating audio ads for Spotify and what you'll be using Spotify to advertise. Let me know what you'll be doing on the platform yourself.